Hey Aquarius, welcome to Fairy Moon Tarot. Going to do a collective uh, reading for the month of March. And I'm going to pull a, a card from my Moonology deck just to get an overall uh, message for the, for the reading. And as I was doing my pre-shuffle on my tarot cards, I just um, seen the... Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles. Those, all three of those cards popped out like together. Um, so I know that's resonating with me already off the bat. I am an Aquarius, by the way, Sun and Moon. So I'm kind of excited to do this reading. I have one more reading to do after this. I got Pisces, um, and I'm Pisces Venus as well. So. Uh, Anyways, those those three cards right there, right off the off the bat, already have resonated with me because I am currently looking for employment, and um, so with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, I am I am looking to invest my time and energy elsewhere. I am waiting on an offer to come in. Um, I am, you know, having to watch my finances, and uh, during this transition, and but then with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and then with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, tells me that an offer is going to come in. Your golden opportunity will come in. So if you're like me and in the transition of, of employment and, you know, um, don't worry because um, I think that I think that Ace of Pentacles is fixing to come in. I think you're fixing to get that golden off offer. So um, everything's going to be okay. Now, let's get... Um, Let's get an overall message for March, for Aquarius. Uh, messages for Aquarius for March. A message for Aquarius for the month of March. A message. message for Aquarius. For Aquarius is new here. What's a message for Aquarius? Here we go. I might have to go deal with my dog. She's over there messing with my cat. Ooh. Okay, so... New moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Well, I don't know about you. I'm not looking for romance. I'm looking for a job. So, <laughs> but um, this is going to be something new, something balanced. We've got the scales there. So if you've been in like a, in, you know, uh, situations where there was no equal give and take, the reciprocity was not, you know, equal, um, one-sided luna i might have to duel with them real quick um anyway so the month of march a new romantic cycle begins so something new coming in hold on just a minute sorry about that they always want to act up right as i'm trying to do my videos um all right so if you're looking for love, don't fret. <laughs> so you guys know how this works. Energies can be re uh, uh, reversed. Roles can be reversed. It's all divine timing, past, present, or future energy. And the reading may or may not even be for you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. You guys know how this works. Just going to do a couple more shuffles here. Luna, no. Go on. Go on. Go on. Luna. Leave him alone. He don't want him. All right, Aquarius, first out, we've got the Six of Pentacles. So this could definitely be about what I was just talking about. We've got the scales, we've got the karmic scales or the justice scales right there on each card. Um, this is this is all about the um, the give and take of a, of a situation, the reciprocity. This is a card of generosity as well, receiving. Um This could you you could be receiving some money here. We'll see. See what 
let's see what's going on here. And then we got the justice card. There's some scales right there. So some sort of scales are definitely being balanced. Um, this is all about balance here. Justice. Getting your just due. You may be getting what you're due here. Whether that's in a payment or um, an offer. A gift. But we got the, we got the, wow, that's just crazy. Because this is the, this is the Justice card in the Minor Arcana. So we've basically got the Justice card for the first three cards out in your reading. So they're very, mal, they're very well have been an injustice. And now you're getting your, 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 um, karma is being served like you're getting um you're getting your justice wow what do we got here could be dealing with a libra i'm libra rising so near future five of five of swords air energy so this is aquarian energy um could be Libra. The Five of Swords is nasty energy. I don't like this card. This is like really childish, tit for tat energy, like um, real childish, and like name calling, and just just petty, just having to have the last word, just like ha ha, I win, and um, mind games, playing games, just gross but this is like winning wanting to win at all costs and like not giving a shit who you hurt just to have the last laugh just to say ha ha you know like this is real gross energy uh it's part of victory though as well can be um This could be a card of defeat and walking away as well. This is like real, hmm, real petty energy. And this is in the near future. So we're going to see, we're going to see what comes out. Face of the spread is the fool. Aries energy could be dealing with an Aries. But this is all about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, leaving it all behind, starting on a new journey, starting brand new, starting from scratch. Um... This is also real impulsive energy as well. Um, he's not even looking, he, you know, where he's going. He's just, you know, they, just taking that leap of faith. Just um, real impulsive energy here, real free-spirited. But starting anew, someone may have just went off on their own. Someone's on a brand new path, brand new start, want a... Uh, starting fresh recent past we got the ace of cups water energy um ace of cups is a brand new emotional offer of love coming in like a new offer of love coming in this is an overflowing of emotions this is a pouring out of emotions um an emotional time but uh love can be also self-love. So someone may someone may be having some some an equal balanced new beginning come in here. It's like you're gonna get what you deserve. You know, you're going to get the equality and the balance and the reciprocity that you deserve. Maybe you've just been off on your own here for a while, you know, just alone on your journey. Just And then you're just 
trotting along here and then and then boom <laughs> you run into this brand new love here because a new romantic cycle is beginning let's keep going oh yeah crowning the spread is the chin of cups so this is the happily ever after this is um, the happy wife, happy life, happy kids, happy pets, dancing under the rainbow. This is what we're all striving for. This is a total emotional fulfillment. This is one of the happiest cards in the deck. This is home. This is family. This is marriage. This is, this is the happy life, um, the good life. Um, so this is what this may lead to here. Because this is like in the position of like events that will be influencing or, you know, uh, the situation. So this is like, this is like you just like lottied on along here. And like I said, just bam. I don't like this energy though up here. I don't know what this is about. Hmm. I may or may not have to, I have to pull a clarifier on that one. This may be just somebody getting the victory. So next out we got the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is a work card. Can be something to do with work or business, uh, a job. But this is like coming together, working together, putting in the work, um, effort, working as a team, teamwork, working together. Someone may be getting a job in the justice system or just a, a job that's fair and balanced and um, one that's like well suited for you or something like that. Getting your fair treatment. Because maybe, maybe that's what this card is here. Maybe there wasn't fair treatment where you were. Because I know that I can resonate with this. I'm an Aquarius. Um, I was not getting fair treatment where I was employed at. And... One thing kind of led to another, um, kind of some petty energy, you know, words were said, but it wasn't fair. And so here it looks like there's going to be something equal, something, something that's going to make you happy, a new beginning here, a brand new offer. Something that's going to be fair and balanced. And um, and this could be a job. Because jobs do pay money. And it could be in the legal system. I'm not applying for any jobs in the legal system. But um, so this could definitely have to do with a job. You know, it doesn't have to be a romantic cycle. Because like I said, I'm not looking for romance. So I can read this in a different way. This can just be my happy home because I do have my own domain. I'm single and independent and I work hard and I have a nice home and um, I strive to keep it nice. And um, it is my happy place here. So this doesn't have to be, you know, a family. This is just a happy, the idea of emotional fulfillment and being happy. Being happy in your space. So I can read that that way too, but that's my story. <laughs> Seven of Wands out next, and this is all about being like on the defense, protecting yourself, defending yourself against, you know, people talking shit and spreading rumors or whatever, just people that have no business being in your business. <laughs> but being on the defense... 
So this could actually have something to do with the legal system because we do have justice and the defense and someone being defensive here, being on the defense. Um, it could have to do with some sort of monies being paid out, maybe some sort of child support because we do have a family dynamic here. Uh, someone maybe get someone. It may be some. It may be a nasty battle. It is maybe like a nasty cop, court ball, blah, 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 court, a nasty court battle here. Maybe for assets, child support, something. Because this is a chin, it is a completion. Maybe, maybe, maybe a family dynamic did come to an end. Someone went off on their new on on a uh, you know on their own. No, now they have some brand this brand new love, but they're they're going through this court battle, um, this this divorce, working with somebody working with the justice system because it's six and the nine of pentacles are the only pentacle we have out here and that would be the nine of pentacles and that's a single independent you know stable secure individual someone who works hard has you know has all they need and is very abundant um doesn't need anybody so Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a divorce here or some kind of um, child custody or child support or uh, divorce, division, dividing of assets, um, working together with the justice system here to become single. Because someone's got this brand new beginning here that may lead to their ultimate happiness. But something has to come to an end here. Let's see. Yeah. Um, hopes and fears section is a page of swords, which is air energy. Um, someone's looking into something, or maybe somebody's afraid of what they might find. Um, this is also like petty, uh, immature communication as well. And we got the five of swords here. Uh, we got the five of swords and he's holding a sword. We've also got the sword here too. So the five of swords with the six of swords would be a victory. Wait, is that the Six of Swords? What am I thinking of? Six of Swords, Six of Swords, Six of Swords. Oh, the Six of Swords is the moving on card. Yeah, so someone could definitely be moving here. This, getting this uh, division, dividing of the assets, ending of a family dynamic here. Moving forward, wanting to work with somebody else, possibly working with the justice system. But somebody's looking into something here. Um, this could be immature communication, like I said, with this Five of Swords here as well. Uh, children, this can represent a child. So, you know, children um, are most likely involved. Like I said, could be child support, child custody. Um, someone may be fearing. Hmm. <sighs> Because this guy's on the defense, too. He's on guard. So someone may really be fearing, like, having to defend themselves. Or uh, looking into something, but kind of fearful of what they might find. Hoping to find something, maybe even. So they can win. You know, looking to find something, hoping to find something, anything, so they can win at all costs. Hmm. Outcome. Four of Cups. So somebody's been disappointed, upset, um, focused on the past. This is an unhappy individual here. Um... Maybe feeling like they're not good enough. Feeling like this is a missed opportunity. Not focused on this. Someone, Someone's not focusing on this cup that they've got coming in. This brand new opportunity here of love. It's like someone's focused on... Someone's too focused on... I don't know. Maybe the memories here. Focus too much too focused on the past memories. 
Maybe someone's just been unhappy in a situation. That's in the outcome, though. I don't like that. It's like someone's um, feeling rejected, ignored, or... Luna, get away. Go on. Um, this is next to the Ten of Cups here. It's like somebody's just been happy, unhappy in a family dynamic. Disappointed. It's like someone may be left feeling rejected. Like this is a missed opportunity because, because someone is putting down these swords and wanting to walk away. Someone may not want someone to go towards something new. So, can definitely be some, have to do with something legal here. Because we've got the Queen of Swords here. She deals with the truth, the whole truth. She nothing but the truth. She demands the truth. Um, she gives truth and she demands the truth in return. Um, she makes decisions here. She's not afraid to... Um, let you speak your truth, but if you lie to her, she will bring that sword down and she will cut, cut you, cut you, cut you out, cut you down to size. She makes decisions. She only deals with the truth. She's been hurt. And yeah, I was just about to say she can be a real bitch too because she has been hurt. Um, you know, she's been through it all. She's seen it all. She knows the truth. She can see right through your bullshit. She doesn't put up with the bullshit. Um, she could be very, very much uh, cutthroat and vindictive and um, not afraid to tell you how it is, not afraid to speak the truth, and uh, can have a very venomous tongue and can cut you down to size real quick. Um, and uh, pair it up with the, the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, that's like... That's like, <laughs> that's really, that's really nasty energy. They could, th these two energies together. Yeah, that's real nasty. Because the Queen of Cups, she can be very much vindictive. She can be very emotionally manipulative if she wants to. She can, you know, use emotional blackmail. Um, cry to get her way. And she can, but she can be very vindictive. Very much vindictive. So these two energies together are not. And you know, and we've got this five of swords here. And this can represent, like I said, like a uh, uh, legal, like a judge. So um, someone, this may be a, a nasty court battle where someone is just being vindictive as hell about this ending. Because something's coming to a close here. Because this is like a split. This is a breakup. This is financial hardship or a loss. So, um, <clears throat> it's like someone, it's like someone, someone's having regrets about the past, about maybe something that happened. I'm not sure. But someone's having regret. Someone's stuck in the past here, um, wanting an apology, want, or someone's wanting to come in and offer this apology, wanting to heal it, wanting this brand new beginning. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Someone, yeah. Someone either, someone either wants to come in and move on, you know, and have this, you know, heal this and have a brand new beginning. Someone who may have moved away before, or someone's just wanting to move to a place of peace and healing here. Offering this apology. Yeah, look. Someone wants to someone wants to apologize for something. Someone wants to make something right here. But I don't know. I think someone's contemplating because someone's thinking like too much on the past. Um, they're not they're they're bored with this offer coming in. They they eh, maybe too much has been done. 
Because someone's really regretting the past here. Stuck or stuck in the past, wanting to apologize, wanting to heal this, wanting this fresh start, uh, wanting to move on to a place of peace. You know, yeah, looking to the future. <sighs> Someone may be putting an end to something, and someone's working hard to become single and independent and stable. Yeah. So... I thought I seen something else in here for a second. I wanted to touch on maybe. Mm. I don't think so. I think whatever's going on, justice is going to be served. We've got three cards of justice here. We've got, you know, the Queen of Swords. She makes she makes uh, smart, wise decisions. She's very intelligent. But I think somebody's in fear because I think that they may feel like this is a missed opportunity. I think that they are bored with whatever offer they're getting. I think someone's been very nasty um, during this ending. Because this could very well be a divorce, like I said. And it's like someone's being really nasty about this ending. Maybe because they don't want to have financial hardship. If someone's wanting a payout. And it's like someone's working with the justice system in order to get that payout. Um, and someone's having to defend themselves, but someone's being nasty. But as far as this new romantic cycle begin, you know, I think someone may be wanting to be, have, I think someone may be, think that's why this divorce, I mean, this, this separation is going on maybe because someone, someone um, is wanting to take a brand new leap towards something else, something um, emotional fulfilling here, brand new. Uh, so you'll have to let me know, Aquarius, that was your reading. Um, just know that whatever's going on, uh, things are going to be balanced out here. Um, we basically got the justice card three times in this spread. So yeah, um, there is that. There is that. Okay. So, anyways, that's been your uh, reading for March, Aquarius. If you like the video, please like. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you. I appreciate it very much. If you have, if you have not, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know how this is resonating with your situation. I'd love to hear. And um, take care.